What's up, you guys? Well, back to Let's Play Mega Man X2. Now, for today, we're gonna go to Morph Moth's stage and obviously kick his ass. So, let's get this started. I'm ready, man. I'm ready. But this stage really is not that bad. The only problem is that it's kind of long. But other than that, it's really not that bad. It's quite simple, actually. So, no need to worry about any enemies or anything. Because they really pose no big threat. These guys are in the worst possible area. Holy shit. Okay, so here you're gonna want to take your wheel gator weapon out and use it on this corner right here. It's gonna eat up the floor and it's gonna reveal a secret passage. Hmm. I wonder what there is down here. It's a capsule, of course. Dr. Light. Mega Man X. Enter the capsule. This enhancement will modify your body armor. With it, you can absorb damage and transfer it into explosive weapon energy. So basically, you absorb damage and you can unleash a powerful explosion that obliterates everything on screen. Literally. You can even destroy those submarines and bubble craft stage in one hit. Kablooey! That's what I'm talking about. So yes, you, know, you can destroy those guys in one hit. Very good. Very useful, actually. That's why a lot of people do this stage after Wheel Gator, just to get it as soon as possible and then go to Wheel... I mean, Bubble Crab. But I don't know. That's just what I, I've seen, usually. Okay, so... Oh, I totally jumped there, man. I totally jumped. I pushed the A button, man. I pushed the A button. Look at Mega Man, he's jumping around everywhere. This background, for some reason, also reminds me of some kind of Metroid or Super Metroid background. Like, honestly, I, I don't know why a lot of these backgrounds remind me of that game, but... I, I mean, I don't even remember which game it is. Metroid or Super Metroid? I'm not sure. But anyways, here's our first mini-boss. Hmm. What is this? Oh, it's a big-ass bug. So basically, this guy's gonna be possessing this robot in the junk. And what you wanna do is shoot this red ruby, make him come out, shoot him as many times as you can, and he's dead. That's pretty much it. Quite simple, if you ask me. The only difficult part is when he possessed the robots, and the robot's gonna be jumping around everywhere like a crazy asshole, and just gonna try to mess you up. And that's not good. And there's actually two fights with those guys in this stage, which is towards the end, so that's very good. And I think if you fall down here, there's actually spikes, which will lead to your death. But I'm not sure, and I would not like to find out. So you can go find out yourself if you want. But I'm not going to. And these green grasshopper things, they are very annoying because they can attach onto you. And they can make you look like a crazy lunatic as well because they take control. And it's just freaking crazy. Now what the heck is all this shit on the ceiling? What the heck is this? Are we in a toilet? What the heck is this? They look like shit bubbles. Shit bubbles. I'm freaking serious, man. If you look closely, that's what it freaking looks like. I mean, unless you want to say it's styrofoam or something, but... Oh my god. Like, now that I think about it, it really does look like shit. And bubbles. Shit bubbles. Look at this. I guess you must be in a toilet or something, like the junkyard leads to the toilet. A drain leading to the toilet or something. I do not know. Like, oh my god. What the heck is this? This is freaking nasty, man. And you, get off me, man. Look at this. I'm freaking jumping like some kind of crazy lunatic. Oh my god. So you can kill this guy with a wheel gator. Weapon thingy, wheel spinner thingamajigger thing. <laughs> and we're here at Morph Moth's stage, so that's good. Or not his stage, or his room. And this guy's weakness is the flame stag weapon. I forget what it's called, flame wheel or something. I don't even know. And he's gonna be in his cocoon actually. He's not gonna be revealing himself until he, he takes a certain amount of damage, so. And then he's gonna start spewing out trash. Looks nasty as he's throwing it out or something. <laughs> But it can be it can be avoided, but it's kind of difficult actually, and you do take quite a bit of damage, so you want to try and block it as good as possible. Let's see, and this attack too right here that he's doing, where he spins around the trash like that, it's very hard to avoid. So you want to try and just hit him as fast as possible, so he can turn into this guy. And he starts dropping fairy dust, and he tries to perform his move, Aurora Beam. So basically, this is a Venomoth using Aurora Beam. Interesting, huh? Which I think that's impossible. I've never seen Venomoth use Aurora Beam. 
or use fairy dust for that matter. This is who does this guy think he is? Seriously. Fairy dust. Yeah, right. Okay, so that takes care of Morphmoth. That's very good. Now I think we should go to Bubble Crab stage and pick up that sub tank that we could not pick up before because we didn't have the bubbles. So yes, we should go pick that up now. And with defeating, with the defeat of Morph Moth, we get four pieces of shit stuck together with super glue. Very nice. At least that's what it looks like to me. <laughs> All right, so let's go to Bubble Crab. <laughs> Bubbles. Okay, so it's actually towards the middle of the stage. I'm not sure yet. Yeah, well, it is. If I remember right. It's like on a plane area. Oh, we have to watch this again, of course. Slow ass animation or cutscene animation. He looks like he's going slower this time. I don't know. That's what it seems. Oh, what are you using now, signal beam? Jeez. All right. Boom! Aw, oh, he's not dead yet? Jeez. Okay, one more time then. Should take him down. I don't want to take any risk here, so... Yes, there we go. Yes! Sink down to the bottom of the sea! And we go down here. I think it's somewhere around here. I'm not totally sure. I know it's under the sea, but... It's in a plain area, I think. Like a big, flat area. I don't want that life. Somewhere around here, let's see. Actually, I think it's up here. Yeah, it's right here. You gotta use your bubble, and you gotta charge it up. And once you charge it up, it's gonna let you jump higher inside the water, so... Ooh, look at that. There's a sub-tank, and... We got it. Very good. So that takes care of that sub-tank, and for now, I believe that's it. I would like to go do Magna Sun Speed, but I'm not gonna have enough time, so... Yeah, I'm gonna have to leave that for next time. So, thank you all for watching, and this is Angel Benrod, signing off.